Hello, everyone. Hello. It's me, it's me, Ian Gibson. And I'm Will Crosby. No, that's not right, Ian. I think our name tags got switched at the laboratory. Oh, it did. My girlfriend Maggie wants to say hi. Hi, girlfriend Maggie. Hello. How's it is going? That, is that your stream voice? <laughs> you should work <laughs> Does on Maggie that. Maggie have a stream voice? <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> I think you just heard it. Oh, no. Hello. Okay, we just started on the YouTube stream. I just heard my voice again. Uh, it's probably going <laughs> to double thing. I muted it now, so we're all good. Very um, professional I'm here. I'm going to transition over to Kerbal Space Program. Man, that feels so good. I'm so good at this. Um, we're here. Subpixel Inc. Episode 3. Thereby, this series is dubbed within Subpixel Inc. as our Subpixel Aerospace Adventure. Mm -hmm. Or venture, I should say. I love um, it. Shout out Special to shout out to... Uh, let me just uh, shout out over your shout out to Jake for both the name and the logo. Love it. Yeah, it's really good. He sent that. I was at work when he sent that. And I saw it and I was like, oh, this is amazing. And then no one replied. So like five minutes later, he's like, you know, it's, it's just like a thing. And I was like, I felt so bad that none of us replied. I was like, no, dude, I love it. I'm going to put it in the stream tonight. It's like, oh, thank goodness. Should we do that every time he talks now? It's just deliberately not answer for 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> That's so mean. That's like, I'm trying to remember where I've seen that before, where it's just like the long con to just slowly completely destabilize a person's like confidence in their life. <laughs> so bad. It's <laughs> like, you ever hear about that thing where uh, over like 20 years, you just have this random group of people that you found walk up to someone at some point and just be like, wake up, Johnny, your family misses you. And that's all they say to them. And then they walk away. Wow. And like, you have that happen, like over the 20 years, like different people saying it at different places, like, Hey that's dude, like, you gotta wake up, man. And that's like, like just, catfishing to a whole new level. Just ruin their lives. <laughs> oh, it's so terrible. Um, this is a celebration stream, right? Because we're officially launching our brand new business venture, Subpixel Aerospace. How are you celebrating the evening? What are you drinking, Will? Uh, I have classic uh, Night Will, uh, as my roommates like to call me when I drink. Uh, classic. Night Quill? Uh, no, not Night Quill. Cla <laughs> yeah, just down in a bottle of Night Quill. Now, uh, Red Bull and vodka. Oh, okay. Um, you know, okay. just to keep perky and then i have some uh is it trogues christmas beers yeah uh, yeah that are so I've, very good i've got something similar i have uh dr pepper and moonshine Ooh, i call it dr moonshine just made that up kind authentic of moonshine uh well yeah i mean it's uh 80 proof uh but like did you get it from like a hillbilly in the woods no no moonshine's like way too mainstream for that now um, I just figured I've been playing Red Dead. It's time to finally taste moonshine. Um, I had a little tiny thimble of it over like an hour because it is very strong when you drink it straight. Okay. It is awful, awful tasting. So now I have to mix it with things. Um, I actually know some West Virginia. I hesitate to call them hillbillies because they're really not. That may or may not produce their own moonshine. Ooh. And I've yet, like, so it's, it's my friend's parents-in-law, which mm -hmm. is weird that I'm friends with them. But first name, I have, last name? Uh, yeah, first name, last name, social security number. and But I've never, like, they visit, so I see them all the time, but I I want to go down there and just get a bunch of moonshine. Yeah. They, um, they like, have a huge farmland, and they used to make ghost pepper salsa. Ooh. Oh, it was so good. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to remember what was it, what did I name? Uh, was it? So it's not the victories because it doesn't look like that. Are you sure? It look it looks like a marital aid. I thought this was it. Uh, is that the bot? That could be the bottom part of it. You know, and then the top is the rover and the the payload container. It's true. What? Are the um, okay, Donning, I don't even know. No. 
I should probably retweet it. now that we're live. Not Moon Toucher. We still only have two people watching, which I assume is you and me. I don't. I don't. Uh, mine's paused. Oh, so maybe not. Uh, it's okay. Nobody's watching on Twitch, so it's we're not okay. This. No, but let's let's launch that real quick. I just want to see what that Cooper looks like. Oh, you know Cooper. what that looks like? Why can't I find? Oh wait. Will tell me what that rocket looks like. Found oh, it. that's it. That's it. I don't know. What did that rocket look like, Ian? I'm not gonna. Oh, say Colton, it. that is you. Okay. I wasn't sure if it was counting one of us. It's good it's to have your mom. It's probably counting you and mom. That's what I think it is. I love you, mom. Oh, crap. Every oh, time shit. I click off of this. Okay, so there's a space vehicle. Um, man, I'm, I just got, like, hungry. So I'm going to just end the stream and go get food. See you later. Do you want me to order you food? We should do that one day on a stream where I just we order each other Grubhub. That's a really at nice. the start of the stream. <laughs> I would get you the worst food ever. <laughs> oh my Crocodile. god, that's okay. When we eventually, we'll probably have to get what webcams and bad green screen. Then we do the grub hub. Yes, I'm totally down. Oh, that's good. Okay, so that's what good. Was... Oh wait. Oh, I'm crazy. I think I think it needed a, it didn't Wait. it just had just barely enough to get to orbit but not really. So it needed another oomph to it. Where is it? Right. We got someone in orbit, don't we? Is it this yeah, but one? I think we ran out no. of I don't I That's Sub in orbit. Subpixel Victory 2 Untitled Spacecraft. Where are you? But I feel like we didn't have enough to get to the moon. Colton, oh. did you watch the, um, are you talking about the episode of Scanlines? The Bubsy one? Is that what you watched earlier? Oh. It's so good. Yeah, that Bubsy one was... So we, we, uh... Uh, we recorded a night-long part two, which, uh, Jake is editing because he's a much better editor than me. Um, which was very interesting because of Ian. Um... And his intent to destroy all that is holy. Um, but we haven't published that yet, right? That's next. No, week? so that comes out next Thursday. I'm just teasing it, Ian. That's what you do when you record things. Um, but yeah, the Bubsy one I actually edited last night, so I'm sorry if it's terrible. But uh, real talk, how did that turn out? I didn't watch it. Uh, pretty good, actually. I thought I just like the idea of. We've done the formal episodes where we say, hey, this is the game, and then we play it for 10 minutes. I you like should the really idea. watch yeah. the first five seconds of it, because I put a nice uh, Ian quote at the beginning. <laughs> I'll look that up real quick. <laughs> and, oh, it was so good. There was another one I almost put there, but I decided not to. Um, Colden, I would highly recommend, if you have not played that game, it is. I'll, I'll link you to it. Um, it's downloadable for free and it's okay, pretty I great. Wanna, let's uh, click the launch pad. I just want to launch this thing and see where we were at last week. Wow, they got the domain Bubsy3D.com. Good for them. I think one day I'm going to make you play their next game, which is even better. I love, uh, so we have a Discord chat for uh, Subpixel, and uh, Jake's slow realization of what that game was through text <laughs> was incredible. <laughs> I think it started as him thinking it was a real Bubsy game, and then him being concerned for our well-being. Yeah. It was very good. Oh, that's a good thumbnail. You know, my audio quality didn't turn out that bad. No, it really didn't. I mean, you can no you notice it, but yeah. it, it's not it's not horrible. Yeah. Uh, so that means that now when I'm on work trips, we could theoretically record. 
Yeah, so that kind of works out. Okay, so this is this is unaltered. What is? Oh uh, yeah, I have not done anything. I just want to see okay. if I can get a Where better get to. like launch trajectory. Yeah, without me hounding you. Yeah, exactly. You hound yep. me a lot. Um, what were we talking about right before we went stream live? You were playing some game. What was that? No, I was talking about extra life. Wasn't I? Oh, that's right. You're watching. Uh, extra yeah. life. Extra life. I watch. There's I donated. too much content. Um, oh, there's too much. Um, yeah. I have to actually make time now. This really isn't bad. I don't mind it. Um, but I have been playing a lot of Red Dead Redemption 2. Mm -hmm. and uh, As have I. I've been playing a lot of Castlevania, the original for NES. Ooh, is that worth playing? It is. It's very fun. I'm enjoying it a lot. Was that on the NES Classic? Uh, it is, and that is what I am playing it on. Ooh. I am a big yeah. fan of the NES Classic. Yeah, I should play it on there. Congrats on the new job, Mom, by the way. Um, always exciting. Mom got a new job? If you're crossing the country, that sounds perfect for, like, a podcast binge. Oh, yeah. uh, Will, what podcast do you like listening to? Uh, I listen to... So I don't listen as much as I used to, but I listen to the Giant Bombcast, the Giant Beast Cast. Yep. Um, uh, oh, what's that murder one? Uh, the This murder American Shiro. Life. No, the This American Life one. Um, Serial? Serial's very good. Serial's good. Um, my dad wrote a porno. What does that have to do with podcasts? Uh, this guy discovers that his dad wrote a romantic novel mm -hmm. and so they read it on air <laughs> and it is extremely funny can you uh, click not your, uh, it. your fuel in the top right can i what yeah click oh, it. yeah because yeah. i just like looking at that to see where we're at you look pretty good um so that is very funny um i, I also and... listen to um gaming related i listen to easy allies you ever listen to them um, no i've uh i know it's it's the guy who used to do reviews at... Uh, uh, yeah, it was basically the old Game, game trailers, trailers crew. crew. Um, but they... So Kyle Bossman hosts it, and he does a fantastic job of just keeping it, like, interesting. Like, he does a lot of weird games and segments. Like, the latest gag is that at the start of every show, a viewer recommends a weird party member to join their fake RPG party. And then they decide whether or not they want that person to be part of the party. And then at the end of the episode, they roll a die to determine if that person, person. is alive or dead, um, whether or not they join the party. So, like, one of the people was was this guy who absorbs 100% of the damage that the party takes at all times. But he constantly reminds people of it and makes you feel guilty about it. <laughs> so and so then everybody has to decide and it has to be unanimous, like all five or six people on the podcast whether or not they want that person to be in their party, like whether they could stand that person. And, and then awesome. regardless, at the end of the episode, they roll to, to determine if that person like lives or dies. Um, and it's just like a weird segment. They've only been doing it for a couple months. They'll probably drop it in a couple months, but it's just like weird little hilarious games like that, that they play while discussing video games. I like that. So Colton recommends uh, Welcome to Night Vale. Oh, Have you yes. Is that one good? I haven't listened to it. So I had a 13-hour drive back from Virginia one time, and I listened to Welcome to Night Vale uh, the entire time. Uh, it is, I don't remember a lot of it. Oh, this is not good on this ship. Uh, is it, it extensive? Was, oh, uh, you've lost orbit, buddy. Yeah, I'm going to gain it back once I get over to the other side. I don't think so. You are losing it way too soon. Anyways, uh, how long good. is it? They're like 10-minute episodes, 15-minute episodes. That's the one that's like a radio show, right? Yeah, it's like a radio program from a fictitious town. Okay. Yeah, maybe one day I'll give that a shot. Because I've started to like more and more overproduced stuff in a way as opposed to just the sit down and talk format yeah i still like both but i'm starting to appreciate a lot more the the production value when it's done right um 
Yeah, that's good. I'm actually I'm gonna open my phone. Oh, uh, Dan Harmon's podcast. Oh, I hardcore. Started... Oh, Harmon That one. Yeah, I started I that talking... one from the beginning. I don't, uh, when I, I was in college. Don't, I, don't, I don't like Dan Harmon, man. You know, I just don't I, like him. I like. Um, I know what you're saying. Like, I get what you mean. But I like his chemistry with um, Jeff Davis from Whose Line Is It Anyways? And their D&D stuff is very funny. I have watched a little bit of um, Harmon Quest. And that was Harmon that was Quest good. is good. Um, you said Jeff Davis? Yeah, he's the co-host. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that guy's, yeah, that guy's okay. Um, the Subpixel uh, Tabletop RGB is very good. It is. I also uh, keep forgetting to put that in the pod bean so the latest episode is not in the podcast feed um thrilling adventure hour they have ended but there's a bunch of hours that's like paul f Tompkins and all these guys doing uh like old radio shows type stuff oh it's very i, mean, I love paul f. Tompkins, but i'm not sure i would um i have sure not started adventure zone which is the uh mcelroy's very, very good um very, very i used good. to so it's been a while. It's been about two years since I fell off of it, but I actually listened to a lot of tested uh, Adam Savage project. Um, yeah, I've thought about I was that. Very into Adam Savage. I'm very into like Maker and Maker Life and like stuff like that. Um, yeah. And doing stuff, and it's funny. I actually listened to Tested for about four or five years mm-hmm. before I discovered Giant Bomb. Oh, and they were them? so no. I, my friend told me about Giant Bomb. I didn't even. I never. I didn't know there was a connection until after I had discovered Giant Bomb. Yeah, yeah, I can see um, that. And then uh, the one podcast I don't listen to anymore. It's not on here. That I did from the start was the um, the Brian Posehn D and D podcast. Oh, I didn't even know there was one. It, that sounds pretty good. Okay, so there's a bit about hot dogs and working in a hot dog factory. <laughs> I can't find it, but if anyone ever finds that and can send it to me, it is oh some of the God. fun. Oh, I'm actually just crashing right now. I didn't even yeah. realize that. Yeah, I mean, you're not going to save this. It was oh, unsavable. I, I thought I was. So I think, just while we're talking about it for a quick second, I think what you need is you need a, you need another launch. You need a second launch stage so that you have enough fuel when you're in orbit I agree. to establish orbit. This should orbit. be gone once I'm in orbit. E- yes. And I mean, it's very close to it. Um, I also listen to a lot of comedy, like Comedy Bang Bang, uh, Andy Daly Podcast Pilot Project, Freedom. A lot of good stuff there. I Okay, so I started listening to Critical Role, the critically acclaimed very very popular D podcast i'm gonna be honest with you i don't like it i think it's bad have you listened really? to it no i have not it's just um uh you know it's a live stream i've been drinking it's a lot of like reddit culture where it's just people making like surface level geek jokes and then screaming into a microphone Ugh. as much as possible that's like big bang theory <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty much like that. I was like, um, my boss was raving about Big Bang Theory, how it's like the funniest show. And like, I agree, like from surface level, people who aren't into geek culture, it's very funny. But like, I he- I very much hesitate to use the word offensive because yeah. it's not the right word. It's not my feeling towards Big Bang Theory at all. But like, there's something about like that Reddit culture and like... Yeah, it's like very obnoxious. Yeah, I don't like... The fact that, like, oh, you like this, so therefore it's funny. Yeah. Like, I understand, like, the the stereotype of people who like books are nerdy, that sort of stuff. That's not, that's, like, old-timey Yeah, nerdy. it's like laughing because you get the reference, not because it's actually funny. Right. Oh. That's that's what Critical Role is, and it's, the, the problem is, like, it's, like, Matt Mercer is a very good DM. His story, I can leave or take his story, but his, like, moment-to-moment DMing is fantastic. It's just the whole, there's like very little production value. It's, and the whole party dynamic is just a bunch of like, it feels like a bunch of people who watch Big Bang Theory and love it. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, and I used to like Big Bang Theory because I was like, oh, this is like 
nerd stuff. Like, I feel like the first couple seasons of Big Bang, Bang Theory. No, no, I'm just going to stop you there. Nope. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, let's get back to this rocket. <laughs> yeah, um, so I think, so what I did, okay, listen, Will, I'm going to be honest with you. Didn't trust your rocketmanship. So I copied your design, but what I did was that first asparagus stage. Yeah. I just put a copy of it above. Oh, I see. So this whole thing? No, just the asparagus part. Oh. I just put a, a, one above it, and I made sure they didn't hit each other on the way down, like when you jettison. And yeah. that way, that gets you to orbit with plenty of fuel because you need to establish orbit and get to the moon for the intercept. Uh, oh, it looks like uh, the fabulous Terio Studios, unofficial partner of Subpixel, is in the chat. Uh, that vessel was in reentry for about 12 minutes while we discussed podcasts. It's true. I thought... I didn't realize it was slowing down. You know what? Mistakes were made, and I have had no free time to spend on this game this week. I have a very busy job. Um, anyways, that's my life. Okay, so let's do it. Sense. Yeah, so I think uh, I would just try and copy that asparagus stage. Put it up top. Yeah, the problem is... I don't... How do you copy... Well, I guess I can just copy this. Man. Oh, that actually worked. I don't know, man. Kerbal Space Program user interface oh. UX is just awful. Yeah, you'll probably have to change that to a three-part. Get rid of it right now. Ooh, yeah, there you go. Oh, look it, put those on. So the that only ones I have to good. do is. Ooh, yeah, and then you'll just have to check the staging. Yes, let's see. Oh, that's this whole mess. Hey, uh, no spoiler talk, but what's your hour count in um, Red Dead? Do you know? Or do I need to look uh, it up for you? I can. Oh, you can look it up. I was going to look it up. Because it's on your profile. I'm right? at, I know I'm at like 44% or 43.6%. I mean, oh, chapter you passed four. me. I think I'm at like 41.7. Let's see. I'm doing some San Denis stuff. Okay. How do I, uh... Okay. It's on your achievements page? Yeah, it should be. Boom, boom, boom. So, crap. I am at one day and three hours. So, 27 hours. You're at one day and 11 hours. So, 35 hours. Jeez. Yeah, you're at 46%. I'm at 40% for the story. Oh, the game's so good. Wait, you oh. earned... <gasps> Baby is here. You've earned 70 okay. gold medals in story missions? 70? That's what it looks like. No. I think so. Let me... Uh... Okay, I have to make sure I figure this out. That stage is the first one to go. So that means it should be this one. Oh, no, it was there. You're 1% of the way. They had a... Their chart at the top is messed up. Um, We'll talk about it in more depth when we have our kind of conclusion podcast, but that probably won't be for another month, if I had to guess. Yeah, that's going to be a while. The yeah, game I'm... is... As you say in France, Grande. Really grande. <laughs> no, it's, it's big. Grand, grande. I'm still standing by that it is. I don't know. I like I like it. I like it a lot. Hey, Zach's I... here and Karen's here. Jake's here. And Mom's here. Colton. Mom's here. Mrs. Rival. I feel like um, Untitled Spacecraft is really not getting the vibes. So to the chat, what are we calling this spacecraft? Chat, what are we calling this spacecraft? Let us know. How about, how about we give them? How about we give them a couple minutes to brainstorm, throw things in there. Oh, I took a screenshot while we continue oh, building. By accident. No, we're d I'm done building, Ian. Uh oh. That's what I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get across. How about your staging? Is your staging all staging good? Staging is all good. I looked it up. Actually, what no. About the top part. Yeah, yeah, definitely not. No, it's right. What about the rover? Oh, that staging. Listen, yeah. I want to get in space first. I don't want to. 
That staging is all over the place. I'm not even... Well, listen, the one that needs to fire first is this thing right here, right? Yeah. It just needs to be in its own thing, and then we can figure everything else out after, once we're in space. Oh, that's right. Because you can move it around. Are there, is there anything else you think we're missing? Are we going to blow too much mono propellant getting yeah. up there? No. Oh, we don't use any mono propellant getting up there. Where's our Other flag? Than stabilization. Uh, the Kerbal has the flag, but I guess I can place our flag on it. Ooh, I got a citizen alert. Let's see what it is. Strong arm robbery. And so, I get. What? I don't know if anyone uses Citizen. Uh, it's an app where people report crimes and stuff. And since I live near New York City, it's very helpful. But I get all the alerts for my work when I'm at home, and I get all my home alerts when I'm at work, and it's very oh. annoying. See, I can't do that because I'm in Baltimore and it would just go off all the time. Um, how do you place your flag on the ship? Ooh, that sounds like a question for uh, Google. I don't think you ASP. can. Add flag to ship. Is there like a decals? The option to add flags. No, I don't think there is. Oh, wait, it's right here. Mission flag. Ooh, there right it there. is. Boom. I did it, folks. Okay, so here are our options. You ready? Bubba, BFR, which stands for Big Freaking Rocket, Schmoopy, um, and My Career Memorial Rocket. MCMR. These are lame. Bubba. Bubba's pretty good. Bubba's pretty good. You know, I might have to go with that. Bubba. Wait, but we should call it, like, we're going to make multiple versions of this, right? So we should call this, like, Bubba Senior. No, like, like SR, period. So then we can have Bubba Jr. And then we can have Bubba the third. True. Bubba Sr. Yeah. Yeah. Jake, did you see, have you seen First Man yet? I feel like you would really like that. I'm assuming that's Jake. It is Jake. You're not his brother. Or is it dad? Dave T, is that his name? That's all I remember no. from what they say. If Colton is mom, then who's dad? Oh, who is dad? Who's dad? We haven't met our dad yet. Faster okay. ran out on us. Oh, nice. Brother of mine. Oh, Zach, I owe you a birthday present still. Um... Well, we never left on the table whether I was buying you Smash Brothers Ultimate or Mario Party, so just let me know. Ooh. Just taking care of some family business while we're on the stream. <laughs> <laughs> it's always helpful. Okay, you ready, Okay. Ian? Yes. Good God, what have we done? <laughs> it looks so beautiful. Oh, and it's stable, too. I, oh, I didn't put the aerodynamics back on. It still looks good, though. Okay, get ready to kick. Hey, it's the right ones! Nice. Told you I did it right. This looks pretty good. Jake, I would recommend seeing First Man in the theater if you can. It definitely takes advantage of it. Oh. We are rocketing up. Yeah, we're looking pretty good. Because see how much fuel? We almost have that entire fuel left. Zach, I would go... Man, I would go Smash. Because I feel like you can't play Mario Party by yourself. But the new Smash has the story mode. Even if it doesn't have the story mode, there's plenty of solo opportunity to play. Yeah, I'd say Smash over Mario Party. What about you, Will? I would say Smash as well. 
I'm excited for the new Smash. This looks pretty good. I'm going to get to 70 and then I'm going to cut it. That looks good. Just got to make sure we don't lose too much on the way up there. 47, Oh, Mario Tennis is good. It's pretty good. Yeah, but I heard nobody plays it anymore. Yeah, but at the same time, I played it multiplayer at launch, and I was it was like a fighting game. I was getting beat constantly, mercilessly. Listen, it's Zach, tough. whatever you want. What's half of one minute and 25 seconds? That would be uh, 42.5 seconds. Okay, so at 42.5 seconds, we will get going. Okay. That looks good. Should have more than enough fuel for the rendezvous. We can almost spend some of it on the retro. My brother just texted me a picture of him watching Subpixel uh, stream on his giant Aww. projector. Well, that's cute. That's so cute. How's the orbit look, by the way? Uh, it's working, hopefully. A little cattywampus, but I think we're good. Man, we're doing it. We're on a good start. We that two-week hiatus really helped us. It did. I got a lot of Red Dead Redemption in, which meant that I could do stuff. Ooh. Gotta kill it. You gotta up. kill it, right? Kill it? No, yeah. I wanted to get the periapsis up. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. My bad. No, you're good. Okay. Nice. We're Ian, we're up. Yeah, look how much fuel we have, too. So, periapsis 63, so we won't burn up. Um, if any of my astute listeners can check, I think 60,000 is good on. Uh, Orbit on Kerbal. What's this called? Kerbin. Kerbin? But just let me know, because uh, at the Apoapsis, I can push that guy out. Um, oh, Mario Strikers. That is a good game. Hey, Karen, if you're um, really loving the science, Will, just let me know, because I could bust this out more often. I have a lab coat. You've been my secretary. Anyways, um, so, uh, oh, Mario Strikers. Yes, we did watch Interstellar last weekend. Ian, that movie is a lot more emotional than I remembered. Interstellar? Okay, yes. all right. I have a very special story about Interstellar, which is that the script leaked like three or four years before it came out, and I read the script, and it was awful, and then the movie came out, and it was about 5% improved and somehow 20% worse. So, I really like Interstellar. It's one of those movies where it looks good, and it's acted pretty well, but then you go past any of the surface level stuff, and it's just, it's just stupid, man. I'm also someone that really liked Dunkirk, so. Uh, Dunkirk was okay. Yeah. Um, please don't. Okay, I'm still looking. This uh, is. I thought this was supposed to be like easily referenced. Yeah, you know, I'm just gonna seventy seventy thousand is good. Or no, sorry. Should I deploy this, Ian? No, I'll wait. Do I have any lights? Uh, oh, you mean whoa. the get rid of the payload? Yeah. The shell? Yeah, you could do it. It Ready? gets rid of the um. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Make sure not to burn all of our electrical though, because I don't think I have any solar. I think I have one solar panel. Yeah. There's that spoiler, baby. Boom. We're looking good. Oh, it looks okay, so good. Off. Okay. I think... I think 60,000 is good. Yeah, it seems like 60 is okay. Uh, this is a burn for lunar insertion. Looks like 70 is optimal, but 60 should be okay. I always forget Kerbal has... Kerbin has two moons.
Ooh, this Dr. Moonshine is real good. Yeah. Dr. Dr. Moonshine or Dr. Shine? Dr. Shine. Why won't it let me move this? Ooh, yeah, that looks good. Okay, there's a Mun encounter. Oh, I have to set this as target, don't I? Okay. Looking good. How much fuel? So that's in 20... Oh, burn time's 20 seconds? Ian. I know. We might be doing this, boy. Only to get there and then immediately mess up the rover landing. Although I gave us plenty of like fuel I'm and very bad at retro landing, burners. so I think I think we should be okay. I remember giving us oh, a lot my of headphones fuel. Fell off. Ah. Good. Oh. ah! I planned on ordering my favorite food tonight, but I'm not that hungry, so I didn't do it. So I started drinking without having a ton of food in my stomach. Mm -hmm. um, so. That's the way to do it. You know, that 60,000 doesn't matter because we're not even going to be there. Oh, because we're going to slingshot earlier. Yeah. I um, I had Chinese food. Ooh. Ian, what's half of 20 seconds? 10 seconds. Perfect. Oh, we have a ton of water propellant. Yeah. That's good. That's good. And we're gaining... Our electric charge isn't even going down. Oh, yeah. It's because now we're in the sun. Here comes the sun. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Here comes the sun. And I say, you're my daughter. Do, 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 do. Wait. That's not the lyric, is it? I think so. Pretty sure was, that's it, what... It's all right. Hope for the future. <laughs> It's alright. This is uh okay. So let's talk about after the stream, having conquered our goal. What are we doing next? What's next for Subpixel Link? So I've heard tell of a um, a company named Factorio that wanted to contact us about mining one of their planets. Okay. I bet, okay, um, but we got to do a half and a half, right? I think it's, we get to the planet, we mine it, and we give them most of the resources we get, but at the same time, we also get to build our very first factory for our car. Right. How does that sound? Yeah, that so it's mine resources and build a giant factory. Oh, this okay. looks good. So I think I warp if I warp to here, I'll become on here and then on this thing I just need to slow down. Yeah, you can just burn the rest of the liquid fuel retro. So that we so And then there's I'm more liquid warp. fuel. Wait, 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 wait. I, I say stop the warp. And depending on how much time we have, we should fix the stages now. Oh true 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 true. Sorry, I was trying to say no doubt. Okay, Ooh. so I'm going to look up how Factorio multiplayer works. Because we want it on the server, right? I don't um, think we want to host but it. But I think we can host it. We can, but then you would have to... Because I think Factorio is one of those things like Minecraft where you don't want to stream it all That's the time. That's true. I think I we want to be able to jump on independently. I discovered that actually at, Zach, uh, at Zach's house for Christmas, I downloaded mm -hmm. the demo for Factorio. And I went crazy. And that, later that day, I bought it. It's so good. That's it's all really I good. did on that vacation. I'm trying to think. Ian, we might have to separate, and we're definitely going to have to use the rover to slow down. That's fine. That's that's what I made. That I think that first stage, that's what I made it for. Okay, so this is that. Where's that engine? There, there it is. That one? That's that engine, yeah. Actually, so I, I would say just, just separate. Those right? so separate. Mm, then... I would separate those though. Well, no, because never mind. Because you can, you can. Yeah, I can have be enable the throttle. stage. Yeah, at low throttle. And then that seems to be the next one, right? Am I right? 
Um, yeah, that looks like the fuel tank and rocket jettison. And then what's after that? Oh, that's the is that the next rocket? This guy? E yes. But that's a but solid that is, booster. That is to get off the planet. Oh, that's to get off the planet? Yes. Yeah, I'll put that separately. I don't remember. Oh boy. That probably shouldn't be there. Wait, why is this here? Oh, there's because of how I had to do it as a subassembly. Wait, what is Oh, this blows off that engine. Wait. No, I think that blows off the fairing. But what's or no, it may this, blow off the engine. This guy yeah, I think that blows off the engine. We need to put that guy there. There, I think there are multiple. Um, oh no, sorry. Where where the rover connects with the um, the main body of the rocket, there are multiple decouplers. What's it this? It just ended. It ended up being like that. So oh, there's a big that. decoupler, and then I think there's two small decouplers. There's so there's two. that one. Well, no, there's a third one. I don't think so. I don't Whatever the shield is. See? Oh yeah, there's this guy. Yeah, it was just how it ended up being because of the subassembly. Oh, it's this guy. Okay, so we're good. That should be it. The other stuff we can figure out, but those are those, and these are. Well, I say let's go ahead and figure it out because we got time. No, I'm saying so. These are these engines. So. Yeah, but those are not. What I'm saying is, I'm gonna fire this liquid fuel for a second. Let's just see where we. Yes. Are, by the way. Okay, we're good. Yeah. So, so you're going to fire, fire the liquid, liquid fuel to retrograde. Then you're going to separate. Then I'm going to separate this, 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 and this. It's going to launch that engine. Yes, that is the retrograde for landing. Okay, for landing. Then once we're... This blows off that engine. Yeah. And then these are used for final landing? Yeah, it's partial final landing, but also re-entry to the Earth. Okay, final landing. Then it blows this off. Blows... Well, uh, no, no, don't blow that off, because th that blow off is also gets rid of uh i'm not sure if i think that gets rid of the um but i'm just saying solid by rocket, the time the we're on the moon rocket. we're at stage three yeah but i'm saying we got time now let's go ahead and figure it out well we're not okay so that um the one right above your cursor this one that i no below it that has to be after the solid rocket because i think that gets rid of the solid rocket gotcha and then that's even further after can you can you uh move yeah so where is that one that oh this is nothing this we no, can blow right now that is important that goes I... with the solid rocket oh i thought this was the old attachment point no that has to um so that we use uh, oh, I see. Did we already show is. this? Do we already show that? I yeah, that's got to go with is. the solid rocket. Yeah. That goes with that. Yes. So, so what is three? Blow at the same time. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then three is just this. Which gets rid of yeah that should be above two. Because that get that gets rid of every. No. Uh, how do I control from here? <laughs> oh my god. No, I hit the space oh bar. Oh my button. god. How do I how do I get oh to here? Oh my god. I mean, we didn't have that much fuel, so it's not that bad, but I don't know how to control from here. Wait, do you have to EVA? Where's your? Do you even have a Kerbin in there? No. Oh. Do you not have one in the ship, period? No, because I have this thing. That's the control. It's just a... Well, then we weren't going to be successful anyways. No, but you can still control from here on this stuff. I don't think so. Oh, no. Tracking station. Okay. Oh, oh and you're going to switch to that via the tracking station? Yeah. We can still make it.
Wait, how do you like? Oh, you uh, you can you can select it on the left, right? SR plane. I think that's what you were in. Or no, <gasps> we're in plane it. Plane is that? Okay, okay. Oh, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm just going to immediately say that I'm blaming that on Karen because she texted me that she's going to bed and I grabbed Bye, my Karen. phone and hit it. Okay, okay, wait. So let's go through staging. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, I think we're good. This goes. That's good. Okay, next. Then that blows. Yep. Then those will be enabled. We just got to turn them off. This is what I don't know. This yeah, probably that's, that's go. going to get rid of the. That's got to go after two or above two. So, okay. So then solid rocket. Yep. Yeah. Same time. Yep. Two is. Yeah. I can't remember why I have that, but yeah. And then the one above it also gets rid of the solid rocket, right? Oh, no, wait. Sorry. One. I don't think we ever fire one. Because that's one is between the, the cabin and the mono propellant tanks. I would I would put I it above the parachutes. The, that's what I was trying to do. I don't know yeah. why I just added a new one. Okay, I now I think we're that good. happened. That rocket's okay. going far far away. By the way, yeah, that's fine. We don't need it. Okay, so now you need to plot a landing. Whoa. What oh. is <laughs> <laughs> that? Looks right. Oh man! Wait, can't you do like the right click, like intercept, and then it shows you like oh, the right. set as target? Oh, set as target. Whoa! Mm. Well, I'd say get rid of the maneuver. Yeah. What? I mean, no target. Yeah, I'd say just use it that. Yeah, burn it, burn it, burn it. Oh, that's, that's not a good way. sign. Oh. Ooh. Oh, that works. Oh, that was the wrong one. Oh, I almost did Command Z for some reason. There we go. That's an orbit. Well, we can Watch. just... Oh, no. Oh, does that mean we don't have enough? That means we don't have enough. Well, we can use the... Um... Yeah, put it at the periapsis, right? I think so. But that might be... Well, we can use the solid rocket booster if we have to, and then we won't be able to. We could, we could probably leave the moon with the mono propellant. Now that I think about it, but at, at the same time, my my dream goal was that we get all the way back to the Earth, but we don't necessarily have to do that. We just got to land That's on the true. moon and drive it. Yeah. So yeah, worst case scenario, we blow and we use the solid rocket booster. Yeah, we blow and go. So should I put the solid rocket booster on? What are these fuel tanks? Is that what is this? That's okay. what I'm wondering. I think we oh, showed the, it. Those are the extending the landing, things, right? Yeah, the landing gear props the rocket up to like a 45 degree angle so that uh, it can then blast right. off from the moon. So should can I put this solid rocket booster with the with before these guys so we can use it? Well, no. I I would prefer if we if we try to slow down with the mono propellant before we get rid of the solid rocket booster. Because the solid rocket booster is how we get off the moon. Oh, you mean these puppies? Yes. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm down with that. So let's... Maybe we just start slowing down now. And then, at this point, use the mono propellant. Yeah, maybe see how far that gets us. Or, like, do a maneuver here. Maybe? You know I'm trying I mean? to think... Wait, 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 wait. 
So you're burning to get down to orbit, but what if you just burn us while at the same time pointing us towards the moon? We don't need to get to moon orbit. We just need to hit the moon. You know what I mean? I mean, we need to get wrapped up in the moon's embrace. Yes, but I'm saying instead of burning... I would say burn directly towards the moon. That's not how space things work, Ian. Yeah, I mean, I kind of see what you're saying, but at the same time... Listen, I think I got this. I think we burn at an angle towards the moon. Maybe. I'm going to do this. I'm going to put this all the way here. I'm going to crank it back to do yeah. that. How's the nav ball look now? 13 seconds? I don't care what the nav ball says. I'm going to... Yeah, that's good. That's close, right? How far away is that maneuver? Warp to maneuver. I'm just going to do this. The moon okay. demands a sacrifice. I think we're recovering this pretty well. I think did so. You ever, did you ever change your drone steering controls? No. Okay, well, the good news is if we do land on the moon, we can just save the game, change your controls real quick. Because basically the issue is if you try and drive with Wasid, it's also going to flip on like the the reactionary wheel, the linear wheel, and then your yeah. whole ship just, just like wobbles while you're driving. Gotcha. What's half a 13? Six and a half? 6.5. Thank you. Oh, I'm facing maneuver, right? Yeah. You right. didn't you didn't answer my question. Is it Dr. Shine or Dr. Moonshine? Or the Dr. Shine? What question? You forgot to burn. Uh, no, because you were distracting me with talks of moonshine. What do you call moonshine and Dr. Pepper? Oh, Dr. Shine, of course. Dr. Shine. That's pretty good. How are we looking? What? 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 Well, at least we know how to switch now. What? What? Why am I? <laughs> why am I? Why I am I the know. engine? I don't I know. I think we needed to put a Kerbal in there, Ian. I think it's definitely Wasid. Right? Not Wazid? I say Wazd. You say Wazd? Yeah. Like you've been pranked by Steve Wozniak? Pretty much, yeah. So. Ooh. It works. I want at least a little bit of an orbit. Oh, that's so much burn. How much burn is it? Uh, oh, but you have to... Um, right, I know. That's, yeah, that's not... Which is... Oh boy, I don't know. You're going to have to... I don't think it's that. I think it's whatever the... Yeah, I think it's that, right? Well, let's see. Where the engine is facing is where we want these to face. Okay. So currently... So you be... That's to the left. We want the opposite of that, which is that. Right? Is that right? I don't think that's right. No. Let's, let's, close let's go enough to, the to being right. Let's, let's go to the maneuver because we can figure it out from the directions on the nav ball, right? I mean, um, on the nav ball, go to the maneuver. Oh. Yeah. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, well, that was the wrong one. Okay. So what is the maneuver then? Yeah, click the maneuver. Maneuver is this. So what is that? That's 30 degrees. What is it? What is the compass heading? Uh, 30 degrees. And uh, then what's the... What does it say at the bottom left? I have no idea. 30 degrees. What is that? 225? Is that what it says? Yes, 225. Okay, so 225 minus 180. So we want to go to 4530. 
and we want to be in the orange 4530. Oh, do we? Yeah. Yeah, because we want to be the opposite of it, right? No. No, we don't want to be the opposite of it. You know I have no idea. I'm just going to burn radial out. See what happens. That doesn't look right. I mean, nothing happened. Try the try the one on the bottom right. You didn't Thank fire you. the stage yet, did you? Oh, what did you do? You got you got to cut engines. Cut engines. You're spinning. Yeah. You, no, you didn't fire all four. You got to cut the engines. You're wasting so much fuel. Oh my god. We're doing it. <laughs> No, we're not. Oh my god, Will. Oh my god. Nope. Nope. I don't think we're going to make it. Oh, we have the solid rocket. Yep. Ian, it's our last ditch effort. Yeah, but don't put us for orbit. Put us for 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 moon. Because remember we have no control of it. Yeah. Okay. Also, we're we're not gonna have we're gonna have barely any mono propellant to slow down our actual descent. Ian, you are so negative. I can't believe you just like. I can't believe. <laughs> can't believe you just like. Listen, do you want to control the the stream the, next week? The one time that you have started with engines at full throttle, and then you. Just to slowly enable one of four <laughs> engines. I thought it was it very spin. comedic. Look, I understand the need for comedy, but Kerbal is also one of the like slowest, <laughs> most grueling games I've ever played. And what's half a six? Two. <laughs> <laughs> You're the worst. Absolute worst. In spite of what Ian said, this is turning into when they're spinning the shells or reattach the endurance. It's very yeah. true. That is. Also, um, I think we Was got it? pranked on our Was Twitch it? stream. We did? Yeah, you want to pause the game real quick and uh, open this link? What it's is... safe for work, I promise. I can't. It's not going to show up on the stream. Oh, because you're streaming. Well, you can switch it in OBS. Yeah, but do I want to? So somebody in our Twitch chat jumped in and said, here's a trick for Kerbal. Okay, let me just put this here. Yep, I Kerbal tips. Add display capture, okay. I would maximize that YouTube stream first. So we don't show Discord. No, I know. Yeah. And we're going to do a little transition here. <laughs> Hello, my old chum. I'm going to know. I'm going to know, Blen. I'm a gnome. And you've been gnomed. Why would somebody... Anyways... Like think that's good viral marketing for their uh and we got gnomed uh oh, we got gnomed okay oops okay uh, i hit the wrong button yeah we got gnomed hard we got real gnomed okay resuming flight oh uh Oh, oh! Did we make it? Because you overshot the maneuver. <gasps> no, we oh didn't. My God. No, no, we did, right? Nope. This is us. Fuck. 
Embrace okay. the void, Ian. That's so I think going. that what that means is that when we leave Kerbin orbit, we need to get as close to moon orbit as possible. So instead of just getting nearby, we have to try and get a very close brush. Bye bye. Bye, sweet prince. Should we restart? What time is it? I think we got time. I don't know, but this guy's in some extreme orbit now. And this guy's out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. What is all this? Guys. Wow. End goal. Just Do you kidding. think there's anything we should do different? I mean, like, assembly-wise? I don't even know. Man, another... <sighs> what if we add some solid rocket boosters to get us more fuel in space? Hmm. I think we... I'm not sure... It's like we need to put something up there to like attach to. No, I think I think we have it. Now that I think about it, I think we have it. We just have to perfect our burns so that they're not putting us in the general area. They're putting us directly on target. True. You know what I mean? Like that last one, we I think we had to spend too much fuel to burn into moon orbit. Whereas if the encounter was closer, Yeah, let's just launch it again. Launch it again? Yeah. Okay. Because I don't think there's anything I can do on the rover to get us more. Okay, this will be the final launch for the night. Mm -hmm. We'll see where it goes from here. Oh, well, we got to figure all this out again. Nah, uh, we can do that um, after we blow up. Oh, you got a full throttle of that, Goober. Sorry, I, I always expect it to be full throttle. Oh, also, I think when we get to orbit, we don't need to make the other side as big. Actually, we want it to be no, I agree. It's just we're not yeah, we launching at the correct angles. What uh, angle should we be watching it at? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> uh Yep. Total success. Is it ninety? You're supposed to go towards ninety, right? Oh, it's like forty five. Oh, 45. Um, but I mean, yeah, so when we get in orbit, we want it to be like an 80K. The The other side of the orbit was like, what, 300K? Which slows so. us down. So we want to keep it a tight orbit to, keep, to maintain speed. Do we need those? Yeah, for stability. Your stability. Let's do it. Wait, I'm trying why, to like. Why isn't Jake in on this stream? I don't know, Jake. Why aren't you in on this stream? Yeah, Jake, what are you doing? You want it on this stream? Just realize that. So beautiful. We made it. <laughs> I like that. I don't have time for crashes. Whoops, what a weird stream glitch. Oh, okay, we're back. Yep. I angle early and I angle often. 
Oh, Jake's too good for us. He's editing scan lines and then headed to bed. Wow, Will, if you checked your Discord. Why are you carrying dead stages, you goober? Hey, there's a lot to pay attention to. <laughs> what is... What? <laughs> I didn't even do anything. Because your fins are so high up. Why are your fins so high up? Why does our marital aid have spikes on it? That's not healthy. Ian, this might yep. be it for me tonight. <laughs> okay, well, if we're going to give up, we have to give up with a bang. That was a bang. I need you to show me your biggest, ugliest rocket, and we need to smash it into the ground. Okay, let me save this. Here, we'll launch the close. one you wanted to. Which one was that one? Yes! I think we built this together, didn't we? No, I built this by myself. Yeah, let's see it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect staging. Oh, and those are solid, too. Oh, yeah. It's actually like a really cool looking rocket. Oh no. Okay, no, that doesn't count. Come on now. I, I want to see do, more stages I, than that. I did not do that. <laughs> I just thought of a probably bad idea, which is that we build like terrible rockets and then we give them to somebody else to to try and launch them into space in Kerbal with no experience. As in, like, they've never seen the rocket before, and they just have to fumble through it. Why is this... You probably want all the all eight of them to fire at the same yeah, time, so right? Yeah. Say... Yeah. What, what else, what's in three? Oh, that's your vehicle. Oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Oh, we're oh, going. It <laughs> looks pretty good. Oh, we're going. And we haven't even started firing. Oh, no, we have fire liquid like, fuel. Yeah, this, this won't get us too far. Oh, my God. <laughs> I Whoa. did not even Whoa. touch it. Okay, wait. It's like self-riding, though. I'm already out of liquid fuel. Before the solid fuel boosters. Okay, I need you to ditch stage now. Ditch it prematurely. <laughs> what? That was gorgeous. I don't think there's a parachute. No, he'll survive. What is that on the bottom? Is that the... Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, didn't we do this like our first stream and he survived? <laughs> Pretty sure we did that. <laughs> but it was like, it was like going so fast. And you clicked the EVA button and he was there for <laughs> half a frame. Off. And then he just disappeared. Hey, let's just do a EVA. Oh, there's a shoot? Oh, he has a parachute on him? Yeah, I just... Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, cut that shoot, please. What do we think this is? This ain't kindergarten. Sorry, Colton. Bye-bye. We should have named our Kerbals. We should have. Okay, I'm looking up... Um, Factorio servers. I think we go... Ah, screw it. I'll pay for it. I've got, like, a bunch of money. I sold my amiibo. I have a bunch of money. 
I have a bunch of money you sold in my your Venmo. Amiibo? Yeah, I sold all my Amiibo and I bought a 3D printer with the money. I made nice. four hundred dollars. I'm off I'm my gonna amiibo. buy a 3D printer for my coworker for like fifty bucks. Nice. Okay, wait. So this is. But how much RAM do you need for? What are we thinking? USA, New York. No branding. Yeah, I'm gonna host no it on a pixel. So pixel. Oh no, I don't wanna. How much RAM do you think I need for? Seven dollars a month. How much RAM to host Factorio? And he lives. Is he underwater? He is. Well, that's the stream, folks. Thank you for joining us. Next week, I think we're finally going to make it. Maybe, okay, listen, I, we can try it, but maybe, just maybe, maybe I should be the one to fly next week, Will. Yeah, I can send you the save game. Okay, yeah, and I can try to get my uh, stream set up. And then, um, like we teased, some point in the future... I think we're going to have to build a factory on a foreign planet. I think we might have to, too. Thank you for uh, streaming and hosting, as always, Will, and thanks for having me. Yeah, no problem. It's always fun to have you... Backseat pilot. Backseat pilot me. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. Uh, thanks for all, everyone joining us and watching uh, my brother. Mm -hmm. uh, thanks, Mom. I'll sucks. see you on Saturday. Um, Jake, you're part of our company. Colton, you're great. Uh, Karen, you're not here anymore, but uh, special so shout out though, Just number one viewer, the guy who sent the uh, gnome video. Clearly yeah, the, guy the hero. Sent gnome video. Yep, you're the best. Um, Godspeed. Bye bye. Bye.